you know, just where are the where are the matchups that Jay is going to be watching tonight? Well, the e, number 14. Now this is Zeus Bats. Man to man to open things up for the Vikings. Pass poked away by the long hand of Xavier Young. Billing to the high post off the screen. This is Allen and we're tied. And the response from the best player for the Wildcats coming off the screen. Nice job creating separation. Well, this is the way it should be, right? It's an off the screen. Three-pointer knocked down by Trey Maxwell. The three threes to open things up. Nobody has missed. Rod McAllen goes against Trailer. Back in the hands of Allen. Drives in, hangs, scoops, spins it short. Billings had his hands on the offensive rebound, but it squirts out of bounds and will stay with New Hanover. A nice help defense from the Vikings coming over into the lane to stop Allen. See, so quick and just a hang time, try to spin it up there to get it off the backboard. Parker Crinion hustling for it. So here's Bats, works against Ashton Pierce. Right McGee through the middle. Let's see what kind of nerves each of these teams are dealing with. That's the first missed shot of the game and a solid rebound by Evans. And he's bringing it up the floor. Trailer bursting, beat his defender and draws the foul. Count the bucket. And Trailer has that quick first step, getting around the corner and sealing off the defender for the end one. Excellent take with the focus on Evans. These complimentary pieces have to step up. And to the Carolina Hurricanes free throw line. Three point play, not achieved as Trailer rips it out. Go to hurricanes.com slash tickets. Be part of the action. Early 8 3 lead for North Mac. Rod McAllen dribbles into the double team into the corner as well. Billings left open, fall away, tough shot, and with the touch, clap of the hands by the 6'5 junior as he comes down the floor making his first shot. And Billings will be important in the paint area with his touch, nice finish. Trailer around a screen to the baseline, swirls it out, board to Allen. And here come the Wildcats, Allen to pull up. Long jumper skims the front of the rim. And the rebound to North Beck. Balloon ahead to Maxwell. Poked away right into Evans' hands. And a whistle on the approach to the rim. And that will be a foul going on. New Hanover. First foul on Rodney Allen. It's a little more than Three minutes have gone by, non-shooting foul, 8-5 North Mech. Finished 29 and three this year. Fake on the inside by Evans, follows his own miss, and then tip try, that is left short. Three cracks within a couple of feet of the rim, and a tie-up will go the other way. And North Mech being relentless on the glass. And here a good look, as Evans goes up with the head fake. Couple bodies flying in there for the Wildcats as well. The Vikings just tipping that ball through for the jump ball. Into the half court, some extra pressure applied by North Mech. I mean, they are chasing the ball handlers all around the court. Moving in, that shot swatted down by Trailer out of bounds. Pressure is here for the Vikings. Yeah, three defenders trying to slow down Allen as he weaves through. One, two, three. Send it out of bounds. Hand off on the baseline, bats. Bounce pass to no specific area. That one is tipped and grabbed by Billings. Bit of a haphazard offensive set here for New Hanover. And there's a strip. It's loose and taken away by Pierce of North Mech. Quickly up the floor. Trailer stumbles into the painted area and draws a foul. And right now, undeniably, the aggressor in this game has been North Mech. 
jumping in passing lanes, communicating on the defensive end, just making it difficult for the Wildcats to drive in. And I like the flow on the offensive side with the ball movement, passing around the peri perimeter, and the cutting ability they've shown. Almost midway through the opening quarter. Step down the sideline. Maxwell launches a three. Miss it. Another offensive rebound. Now back to Isaiah Evans. Step back. Tough shots. He falls down on his backside. Isaiah Evans, high degree of difficulty. He's feeling it early in the state title game. Contact near midcourt. They're chasing Allen around. Just beat the count. Into the corner. Critton it off the bench. Carries a three. A huge response. Critton in that pressure against the Wildcats causing issues. Got to be able to hit the outside shot tonight. Maxwell threw some contact. Draws the foul. He'll be at the line when we come back. Interesting beginning to this one. Isaiah Evans has knocked down a couple of threes. And North Mech, an early three-point lead on New Hanover for the 4A title. After an accident, the attorneys at Riddle and Brantley will pursue a settlement amount with the insurance company on your behalf, including future pain and suffering. Do you know what happens next? The insurance company always tries to pay less. They try to negotiate on the value of your life. At Riddle and Brantley, we represent you and try to secure the maximum settlement. If you've been hurt, call us. We're on your side. Riddle and Brantley, when justice counts. So we're underway for the 4A state title. North Mech with a three-point lead on New Hanover. And this game has already been raining threes. Five combined between these two squads already. North Mech has made three out of four. Two of them by Isaiah Evans right there. So Trey Maxwell will be at the foul line here for North Mech. Excellent crowds all across the final yeah. day here in Winston-Salem. And some fans were here with the uh, kids playing in the opening game, still here in game four. They just stayed all day. Yeah, why not? First free throw good from Maxwell. One more from the Carolina Hurricanes free throw line. And lead now to five for the Vikings. And look at the starting lineups. Brought to you by NC Medicaid for more people. You can get full health care coverage at low or no cost. Apply for benefits today at medicaid.nc.gov. Starting five right there for New Hanover. Bats Allen, Wright McGee on the bench with two fouls already. The foul goes against Trailer of North Mac. Parker Crittenden throw it in and threw it right to the midcourt line. Allen's foot was actually straddling the midcourt white stripe. Billings into the corner. Fake by Crittenden. Steps left and skims a three short. Rebound tipped in his general direction. He whips a pass now to Billings. And a second crack now for the Wildcats. Billings spins on Pierce. Skip to the outside, Crittenden. He'll step in this time. Floater, yes, off the baseline. A nice touch. Certainly the range with the mid-range as well as we get a look at the starters for North Mech. Yeah, this is a balanced group for North Mech. These guys play well on the defensive side as well as complimenting Evans on offense. Oh, what a look to the inside. Trailer takes the pass from Carson Evans and flushes it. And at the other end, a quick three is missed by Bats. And now Isaiah Evans up the floor, makes the pass, and Maxwell travel with the basketball, either a travel or a carry, right on that sideline. That was created from Allen's pressure there, trying to get the turnover. He didn't get it. 
has caused the disruption. 15 10 North Mac. Ron McAllen feels two defenders coming toward midcourt. That pass caught the top of somebody's shoe. But how about Allen leaping to intercept the pass and break up the break? And then he gets held. What an athlete. <laughs> It did look like it hit somebody's shoe, but he didn't give up on the play. The Vikings were looking for the fast break. He just leaped, kind of falling backwards to get the ball right back. Yeah. It's two quick fouls now on trailer for North Beck, so he will depart. Greg Murray, junior guard, is now in for the Vikings. 15-10 North Beck. A little over two minutes left in the opening quarter. And Evans making a play on that pass coming to the corner. Tipped it out. Play on the outside, locate Billings. He'll drive in, switch hands, and scoop it in with the left. Well, excellent take in Billings as they're weaving across the perimeter. Saw an open lane to drive and took it. Maxwell flips it to Evans. Evans, I mean, there's no, there's no shot he won't take and feel like he's going to make, and so far he's made them all. Going to travel here on the Vikings. But we've seen him almost uh, embrace the pressure, embrace he the closeouts. Yeah. Because he can shoot the ball over the top. He's the tallest player on the floor, and when he feels those double teams coming, he can dish it off to his open teammates. That's a tough chance right there for Rob McAllen. And here is Evans up the floor, behind the back, but lost it. Take away by the Wildcats. Odd man break now. Billings hands it right back to Allen. Clever finish on that two-on-one. New Hanover within a point. Unselfish basketball and the defense leading to offense. Excellent pass from Billings to set up Allen. Pierce got stripped, but he also got held. Let's take a look at the CR legal team fast break. Commitment results. CR legal team. Here it is. Uh, the Wildcats are at their best when they get out on the run in transition. Nice execution on the two on one. To Ashton Pierce at the Carolina Hurricanes free throw line with a little more than a minute to play in the opening quarter. Murray checks out. Xavier Young back in for North Mac. Pierce misses them both. Tip rebound. How about Evans keeping it alive? And then throws it away. And it saves on the sideline. Who wants it? Possession finally corralled by the Wildcats. And we get a whistle. And a call was a quick whistle. They whistled Critton and evidently for being out of bounds and trying to jump back into the court of play, I believe. So an illegal touch evidently on Critton. But with Evans in the backcourt, the Wildcats were trying to push it up the floor quickly. Unfortunately, they get the turnover. Murray right back on the floor for North Mac. Pulling a one-point lead inside the final 40 seconds of the quarter. They put Evans on the block for the first time, and he got knocked. Seuss Bats caught him. We've chiefly seen Evans around the perimeter at the point on the wings, kind of drift down the sideline. First time we've seen North Max Dwayne Lewis put him inside the three-point line. That'll be key to move him around in different spots, giving this defense a different look. And he is talented, whether it's on the block or out on the perimeter, roaming around. <laughs> One more now for Evans. Shooting free throws into the student section here for New Hanover. 16-14 North Mech lead. Last 30 seconds of the opening quarter. Crittenden, sprint dribble. Play back out front. 
Allen harassed. 12 seconds left. Oh, that one is palm straight down. He goes out of bounds off of the head of Rod McAllen. And Allen somehow splits a double team, but Evans huh. down in the paint area and forcing things. Looked like after it hit the head of Allen, it might have actually connected against the, the hip of Isaiah Evans. And Evans can't get a shot off on the redirect off. Last no good by Pierce. Done with one for the 4A title. Isaiah Evans, as advertised, couple of threes, two offensive rebounds, and a first quarter lead for North Beck in the 4A title game, 16-14 Vikings. NC Medicaid is for more people like me. Adults who don't have children. People who serve. People who do the heavy lifting. Child care teachers. Full health care coverage at low or no cost. Doctor's visits, emergency rooms, and prescriptions. So if you applied before and didn't get it, apply again. NC Medicaid covers more people than ever before. NC Medicaid is for more people. See if you qualify at medicaid.nc.gov. First quarter sets of the 4A title game presented by the law offices of Roderick Todd McIver. CYA, call your attorney. Five combined threes in the opening quarter, Jay, and a two-point lead for Noah Beck. Uh, each team taking good shots and shooting the ball at a high clip, pretty even with turnovers and rebounds. Actually going the favor of the Wildcats. The points in the paint, even up each side, really doing things from the perimeter. About Federal Bank, we invite you to bank better. Second quarter underway, 16 14 North Mech. A little feed to the inside, trailer got loose. Dwayne Lewis inserting trailer back into the ball game with two fouls. Went on the back cut there, wide open look. Billings draws the attention of Evans. See how this one-on-one -on -one plays out for Billings. Evans wants him to try and take him, doesn't he? There's the handoff, and we get a foul as Bass received the pass. And a foul on North Mac that's going to go on Evans. First one on Isaiah Evans. Again, he had the huge shot in the regional final to send that contest with Lake Norman in OT. And they had an even bigger overtime to lead to the four-point win. So he's used to big moments and many, many more in his near future. One more free throw coming from the Riddle and Brantley free throw line. One of two for Allen. Eighteen, fifteen, North Mac. Zeus Bats guarding Evans. On the assignment tonight, Maxwell off the heel. 
And the rebound, Bannon out of bounds. It will belong to New Hanover. And one of the keys to the victory on Thursday against Richmond County and Paul McNeil, their star senior going to NC State, was Zeus Bats, how physical he was, and also Wildcats throwing different guys at McNeil, trying to slow him down. Similar strategy I expect tonight with Evans. Bats runs down the air and pass for the Wildcats. Screen either way. Well, they're chasing to get the ball out of his hands, aren't they? Now it's Allen. And the defender looking the wrong way. Fires away, all glass. And the rock is recovered by the Vikings. Here comes Isaiah Evans, powering home. Lost it, but it was assisted out of bounds by New Hanover. The threat of the three-point shot with Evans. If he sees a driving lane, he has the quickness to take it all the way. Nice job collapsing, though. Short pass to the inside. Young unable to finish. Nice rebound by Billings. The run out to Allen. Hangs up no. And there are they little tip drill behind the defense. Cam Witherspoon for New Hanover. And Witherspoon, only a freshman, being inserted into the lineup here. But trust Coach Angel. That was a big pickup on the boards. Here's Evans again. This time with the left hand, no. And look at the freshman Witherspoon battle for that rebound. How about that? And draws the foul. Foul on Young. Quality first minute on the floor for Cam Witherspoon, 6'5 freshman. And he's now matched up against Young in the front court. New Hanover can shoot for its first lead here. No look pass. Bats launches. Yes. Wildcats lead for the first time, 20 to 18. Nice job with their motion offense. Quickly at the other end, Evans rattles in and out of three. Offensive rebound to North Mech. Trailer left wide open. And the lead right back to the Vikings. Trailer again with two fouls. Wayne Lewis putting him back into the ball game, meeting his production. Meg Brown home furnishing three-pointer. Check out their anniversary sale happening right now at Meg Brown. 21-20, Vikings lead the Wildcats. Billy deflected pass, looking inside, broken up, and the Vikings able to pry it out of there. Trailer. Can't get around the left, a lot of congestion there. Ball reversal now to Pierce. That's a tough bank shot. Finesse off glass. Changed the trajectory a bit on the delivery. And Ashton Pierce had to hang up there. Rainbow shot over the top to stretch the lead out to three. Pass poked away by Evans. Billings, mid-range. Six points now for Billings. Quick whistle after the bucket. And one of the officials has his arm around Xavier Young sending him over to the sideline. I'm guessing there's is it maybe a blood issue. It's like Cam Witherspoon yeah. as well, going over to New Hanover side. He's looking at his hand, Young is, wiping his face. Now they're taking a look at Witherspoon on the New Hanover sideline as well. This is what we expected coming to this ball game, close, and each team kind of still trying to get into the field, get a rhythm here into the second quarter. Well, we have confirmation it is not a blood issue right now. The floor will need to be cleaned up just wide of the right elbow. Xavier Young got evidently sick on the courts, so that will lead to a stoppage in play. So it's a 23-22 lead for North Mech over New Hanover with about four and a half minutes to play here in this second quarter. A reminder, coming up in the fourth quarter, Jay and I will have the play of the game presented lights, not of this, of course, and more. Popeyes. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Am I stalling well enough, Jay, for you? <laughs> doing a great job. I, I tell you what, I did have a conversation with Q Tucker as I came into the building earlier today. I wasn't here yesterday and have not been here over the course of the week as this new format in the Final Four, the neutral sites. 
And I was asking Q, you know, what the response has been from coaches, from the players, from the fans. How's the turnstile looked? And she said it has been met with glowing reviews, great success, and very likely something that we will see once again next year. Now, is this the permanent solution of the presentation? To be determined. But as far as year one, as we wind down now with the final game, it could not have been met with greater reviews by all of the critical people involved. And the support and the atmospheres here today have just been awesome. You see the communities rally behind their teams. You can just tell how much it means to the players by the way they play, the energy, the intensity that's been shown in all of the games. Well, you saw it yesterday. You were here, and I guess the initial concerns were what, what would the crowds look like for you know, the one, the three, the two, the four in the middle of the week with the multiple games that they were playing as part of that Final Four uh, format. And then how, how would that correlate, especially Friday afternoon games, Thursday mid-afternoon games, how would they play out? You were here yesterday. What did you see? Well, the same result yesterday. And Friday afternoon, people normally at work, you would have had no idea because it was packed. And I just thought this setup here with all those questions, how would it be handled and would coaches and players like it? I think... Yeah. It checked the box, and I think the overall just excitement of having all the games in one spot, one central location, really paid off. And now they are addressing the cleanup of the courts. And you want to talk about a commissioner who does everything for the NCHSAA? Q Tucker, the commissioner of the High School Association, is out there with a plastic bag as they collect the contents on the floor. There's Q right there. And what we did see in that previous game, the overtime thriller between Farmville Central and Reedsville, Q has to remain 100% neutral, but she grew up in Reedsville, was checking with her mom earlier today to see if she was going to be coming over to watch Reedsville play in the state title game. And what a special moment I'm sure it was on the inside for Q Tucker for Reedsville. But the entertainment has been very high quality over the course of the day. The music, the contests, the food, I mean, the energy. Winston-Salem, a great new host. And this is something that they've been really endeavoring to do over the last few years. Just couldn't find the right location. They had the partnerships with NC State and UNC, Reynolds Coliseum, and the Dean Dome. But as they were looking toward maybe just changing the approach and the look and the structure of these, of these tournaments, Wake Forest stepped up and has been a central location, wanting to be a part of it. And we're seeing now the fruits of the labor and uh, the last game of the first year experiment. The staff here at Wake Forest has been awesome this week. This is the final game of the night. Final game here at Wake Forest and final basketball game of the season. What a year it's been and you know, there's a lot of anticipation for this game with New Hanover being undefeated, navigating their way through a tough schedule in the East, and then North Met, yeah. getting to the final game, going through that gauntlet, all the challenges they had to go through to get to this point. We're about to begin play here, and I know the fans are ready to go. Yeah. This has been a tight start here in each team. Bright spots, very few mistakes. I like the aggressive mindset. Each team shooting the ball really well from the outside, and you know, they're ready to go as soon as the floor gets cleaned up. Yeah, they're they're finalizing now, just get, making sure there are no wet spots on that floor. So the players now coming off the sideline. North Mech is ready to return to the floor. And that area of the floor on that right wing, Jay, has never been as clean since last fall <laughs> as it is right now. Spotless. There it is. I mean, you can, you can see her face in that reflection. Oh, can't you? And now North New Hanover back onto the floor as well. 23-22 is the lead for North Mech. We now are ready to resume. So 
about a 10-minute delay, 10 or 12 minutes. And off we go. Back underway, under four and a half minutes for the first half. North Mech by one. This is Isaiah Evans, puts his head down, gets to the block, faking. Now finds his teammate, Evans, and is blocked into the sideline. And it's going to stay with North Mech. Uh, excellent work from Zeus Bats, number two. Billings coming over with help defense as well. New Hanover communicating. Now Evans off one leg to fall away. Offensive rebound to Pierce. Over to Evans. Back. Faking now backing out is Pierce. See how long it takes both teams to get back into a sense of rhythm. Look into the corner. Ashton Pierce. Short with a three. Rebound back tap. Chadlin Trailer gets to the hole and drops it in. Can't give up offensive boards, North Mech. Making them pay, crashing the glass. Nice pass for an easy two. That is 11 points now for Trailer. Brittany hands off as the freshman. Witherspoon delivers now to Billings. Got hung up in the air, made a pass the last minute. And that pass to the near corner is knocked out of bounds by Carson Evans. 3.20 remaining in the second quarter. The 25-22 lead for North Mac Media timeout from Winston-Salem. See our legal team. See our passion. See our experience. See our values. See our impact. See our results. If you've been the victim of a serious accident, trust CR Legal Team to stand up for you. CR Legal Team. Commitment. Results. Call 888-THE-TEAM. First half, North Mech with a three-point lead on New Hanover, 25 to 22. Patrick Keyes, Jason Halter with you as we close down championship week in Winston-Salem. Crowds are still huge tonight on the campus of Wake Forest. I don't know if it was the overtime game that preceded this or the 10 to 12 minute break we just saw in the middle of the second quarter but there's really been no no flow yet to this game on either side Jay. Yeah, and I think each team is just filling each other out on the offensive end trying to get a rhythm there has to be a spark here nobody's been able to go on a run to stretch out a lead a little weave offense everything on the perimeter here for New Hanover now they flash Billings in the post Passes down low and a bounce. Fall away is good from Zeus Bats. I've been impressed with Bats. Now five points. Excellent work on the defensive end as well. New Hanover within one. Gets in release by Maxwell. Short. Rebound by the freshman Witherspoon. He's been impressive in his time on the floor for New Hanover. Pass right at the toes of Billings. And now Bats, he had a notion of about a 35-footer. Almost pulled the trigger. Spreading the floor, going back to their motion offense. This is where the new Hanno over offense in this game has looked at its best. Here's Bats. Billings works on Evans with his one foul. And delivers back out front to Allen. Allen, what's well, a challenge shot. Hard off glass, no good. And Trey Maxwell, the rebound for the Vikings. Trailer. Spins through, delivers up top. Isaiah Evans, yes. Bangs one in, his third three of the half. Strong closeout on Evans, and it didn't matter. So calm, shooting from the outside, smooth stroke. 
Look back by four, 28-24. Mate Evans is a guy who can absolutely single-handedly carry North Mech tonight. Bats fires a three. He's fading away just a bit, left it short. And the Vikings with the rebound. And Evans picked up the play call from his coach, and now he taps the gas, keeps it alive, and calls for a travel. The double team comes over to Evans, trying to get the ball back outside. I like how the Wildcats trapping, coming over, closing off the angle. Allen, long with a three, Maxwell the rebound. I think here in the final minute, you've got to get the ball to Evans and let him create. Trailer, they played in the post. Evans on the baseline. He got hit a little bit. Lost the dribble and a takeaway by the Wildcats. 30 seconds left in the half. As Bats down on the block with Evans. Get the ball to number three here. Allen, best ball handler. Most talented scorer. They'll watch the double team, the trap coming up. And about 15 seconds away from the Popeyes halftime report. Stay tuned for that. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Turnover to the hands of Evans with 10 seconds left. Gets to the hole and lays it in. Evans and Trailer working together to create the turnover. Still time. Allen got around a defender, scoops it up, shorts. And North Mech. Takes a six point lead into intermission on unbeaten and top seed New Hanover. 30 to 24, North Mecklenburg up on New Hanover. We'll come back. Popeyes halftime report on the way. 4 a title game from Winston Salem. Right now, the Vikings up by six. Hello, Miss Wilson. Williams. Yeah, that's what I meant. Hey, listen, the insurance company understands the accident wasn't your fault. But no, we can't pay up front for that rental car you need. All those medical bills. Look, I can do 500 bucks and we'll call a case closed. Best I can do. What? CYA? Attorney MacGyver? You don't have to call him. When the insurance company's giving you CYA, call your attorney. Attorney Roderick T. MacGyver. CYA. You're not gonna believe this, girl. Mom! Dad! No, Dad, have you seen this? I did it. Wells Fargo helps thousands of students go to college. He got in. By funding $107 million in scholarships and programming for diverse communities. Don't worry, I'll be back. When a bank does what it says, I knew you could do it! Opportunity happens. <laughs> doing gets it done. Wells Fargo, the bank of doing. You're watching the Popeye's Halftime Report. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Well, hey there, everybody. Thank you all so much for tuning in to the state championship high school basketball games. Joining us is our longstanding partner all the way from Ingalls Markets, Miss Melissa Level. Melissa, are you loving these excellent I, basketball games? I love it. What a great season it's been, and the best of the best is right here now on television. Best of the best is right. <laughs> now, let's talk about that longstanding and robust partnership between Ingalls and high school championship athletics. What all does that entail? That it's just absolutely wonderful to be able to connect with all the schools within our region. You know, we're in six states, mm -hmm. and, and so we have Friday Night 
lights with football, we do basketball, we have softball, That's even right. some Olympic style sports, and we go all the way up through college and then there are some minor leagues. But we just love that high school spirit and the fun with that. A lot of those players work with us, That's a lot right. of their parents have it, you know, shop at our angle. So it's kind of like a big family coming to watch all of them play, right? Mm -hmm. So we love that. We love it as well. Melissa, as always, thank you for taking the time to speak with us here today. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's get back to the game, folks. It's the moment you dream of, the moment you work for, train for, run wind sprints when nobody's watching for, the moment when hours of gym time, court time, prep time, all culminate into this time, the moment when millions of bounces, blocks, and boards all add up to this, your moment. Ingalls, we're with you every step of the way. You're watching the Popeye's Halftime Report. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Commissioner Tucker, we appreciate your time. Before we begin, congratulations on being inducted to the North Carolina Sports Hall of Fame. Well, thank you very much. Uh, that certainly was an honor that uh, it really caught me by surprise uh, when I got received that call uh, early in December and uh, still am very humbled. They uh, found me worthy enough to to be included in a mix of some really outstanding uh, sports figures in North Carolina. What preparations have been made to ensure a smooth running of the basketball championships? You know, storming the court after a game has become one of those familiar sights as we've watched the colleges play and even football contests. Uh, so we have been working with uh, the folks at Lawrence Joel as well as our, uh, you know, hosts, uh, school system to try to make sure that we do not have anything that resembles that. Um, so we've tried to do all we can to make sure that it's, uh, you know, easy to get into and that once you're inside that it is an enjoyable experience, whether you're actually on the court playing, on the sideline coaching, or you're sitting and watching as a spectator. Can you highlight any notable changes to the format this year compared to previous years? All games are in the same venue. In the past, we've played at Reynolds Coliseum and the Dean e. Smith Center. And so we've had classifications at two separate sites. Well, this year, everybody's at the same site. How does the basketball championships benefit the student athletes growth and development in the educational framework? The attention to details, uh, recognizing uh, that you have to persevere, uh, you have to be determined, you have to set goals. And, uh, and this will just be a, a continuation of that. Commissioner, what's been the biggest challenge for the association in the last year? I think there is this, uh, this idea out there, Jay, that we are the ones who make the rules. Those of us who come to work every day, that we hold the th authority and we have the power, which is so untrue. We have 436 member schools right now, and we work for them. And the association's had so many great accomplishments in the past year. What are you most proud of? 
I'm proud that we have remained true to our mission, and that is to provide those opportunities through our leadership and guidance, and I think we've been true to our mission. Uh, and then I'm proud of the fact that we have continued to offer uh, outstanding championships. And now I'm really proud that something that our basketball coaches have wanted for years, that we're able to now have a Final Four type atmosphere um, for our basketball coaches. Thank you for your leadership, Commissioner Tucker, and we appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and I appreciate you all giving me this opportunity, as always, to talk about education-based athletics. I'm a person too. You're watching the Popeye's Halftime Report. Love that chicken from Popeye's. Here are the best high school hoops plays of the season. Sports Halftime Report. Okay! Okay! Let's go! Quick hands with the steal and her control, her ball handling skills, great move there, and a finish at the basket. Smalls the takeaway. Lobs it to the rim, and there is Trey Jones. Right in the elevator for the easy drop in. He was to the short corner. Even on took a swipe at it. And there's a block from the help side defender, Taylor Moore. And he it's Yanni got the run it. Oh. Absolute pandemonium. We've got Givens back up by 11. Reversal, yes. Oh. Off the bounce. Deep three, Schaefer. Wow, and went to the Raptors. Drops through. Out to Nicholas. Got it. It's across the year, and we have one more half of basketball before we close the curtain. 30 to 24, North Mac leading New Hanover in the 4A Men's Basketball Championship. Patrick Kane is Jay Sonhalter with you. Jay will get to some highlights from this opening half, and it started off as the uh, Duke Blue Devil Commit Show with Isaiah Evans. Yeah, started off with a three pointer, three threes on the first three possessions, and the penetration of the Vikings really opened up with their long range shooting. But I was impressed with how the Wildcats came back in each side, kind of threw punches at each other. Really solid defense. This is a low scoring ball game. Which team can kind of find a way to create more opportunities on the offensive end, go on a run, will be key here in the second half. Really wasn't a great rhythm on either side in this game. Couple of early fouls against Jazeer Wright McGee for New Hanover. That slowed things down a bit. Trailer went out with a couple of fouls for North Mech. And as a result here, the first half stats, 
Presented by the law offices of Roderick Todd McIver, CYA. Call your attorney. Yeah, good shooting from beyond the three-point line and North Mech winning on the boards. Low turnovers for each team. Clean ball game. Points to paint. 12-8 advantage for North Mech. Sponsored by Piedmont Federal Bank. We invite you to bank better. 16 minutes left in the high school basketball season in North Carolina. North Mech looking for its first title since 2020. Six-point lead on New Hanover. Second half when we return. A distracted driver just crashed into your car. It's time to call Riddle and Brantley. Insurance companies may bully a regular person, but the attorneys at Riddle and Brantley know how to fight back and work to get you the compensation you deserve. Our attorneys have been helping the injured in North Carolina for over 35 years, and we'll be there for you too. Call us today and find out if you have a case. The consultation is always free. Riddle and Brantley, when justice counts. to go start of the second half of the 4A state championship game. 14 times state champion New Hanover looking for number 15. Looking at a six point deficit out of halftime. North Mech leading 30 to 24. And we get underway in the second half. New Hanover the Grays and the Vikings of North Mech and the Whites. Rod McAllen delivers to Betts out of the corner. Storm side rebound to Chadlin Trailer. And Isaiah Evans, 12 points in the first half to lead North Mech. Hit three threes. The ball is in his hands now. Maxwell deflected out of his hand. Here comes Allen up the floor for the Wildcats. Allen off the wing, tough shots. Offensive rebound by Billings. And Nolan Billings keeping it alive on the weak side. Draws New Hanover to within four. And Billings now eight points and three boards. A really good first half, solid production. A pie comes. This is Young. First action since that delay in the first half. Misses the jumper. And the rebound to New Hanover. For Allen, six points in the first half. The top scorer coming in at 18 points per game. They've got to find different ways to get him the ball get him loose there's billings called for the walk before some contact against evans turnover on new haven or probably on new hanover trailer big spin now finds Isaiah Evans down the lane. He marches. Oh, look at that. Heavy spin. Up and under move. And Isaiah Evans, the bucket. Justenberg by six. Yeah, Patrick, just amazing work. He's six foot seven. He's so elusive, athletic, and the body control with the spin to put that one in. Right McGee trying to get involved here. Sat on the bench most that first half with early foul trouble. 
fires that one off the glass. Here comes the Vikings down the floor, and that should lead to a couple of free throws. So Ashton Pierce asking the official yet to have him in the act of shooting. And the answer is yes. Yeah. This is just amazing work from Evans. Three defenders, it doesn't matter, up and under. It still looks so easy. And teammates of Evans on the sideline were looking at the video board because they're showing the TV live <laughs> yeah. shot to the game. They were, they were all excited to see a second look of that. Everybody one. looked up at yeah. the screen. One more at the Riddle and Brantley free throw line. And North Mac now with its biggest lead in the championship. 34 26. Yeah, showing zone pressure. Mm -hmm. Changing up their defensive look. Quickly touching the basketball pass from point to point to point. They beat the pressure. Pass is deflected out of bounds. Bounce it into Billings. Pulls his way across the lane, changes directions, and there's Xavier Young with a full block. Outlet to Isaiah Evans. Up ahead, Maxwell to the hole. He'll try to scoop it home. Leaves it short. Right McGee the rebound. And now it's Allen trotting ahead. Off the baseline. Fade away. No. Two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. North Mech now leading by eight. Looking for their first double digit lead. And they just got it. Isaiah Evans is now four out of five from distance tonight. And it's an 11-point lead for the Vikings. Well, he's starting to take over and recognizing the moment here coming out of the break with this surge. Allen, silencer. You've got to have a response from your best offensive player. I like the timeout here by Kirk Angel. Get that shot in. Now you can set up your defense and slow down the momentum of the Vikings. That's it. Timely timeout used by Kirk Angel, 16th year head coach for New Hanover. The last championship that New Hanover won was in 2012. The bucket we just saw from Rob Meek Allen, his uncle, Kadeem, was on that 2012 team, coached by Kirk Angel. That was the last Wildcat championship, and Rob Meek Allen's uncle was on that team. And when New Hanover won the 07 title, Angel was an assistant coach for New Hanover. So, I mean, he's been here for the duration, and he has seen some good moments, and they have the Wildcats back in the uh, championship for the first time in over a decade. 37-28 North Mech. Aaron Miner coming up in the fourth quarter. We'll have the play of the game presented by 988 Suicide and Crisis Prevention Hotline. Call, text, or chat 988. You can do that 24-7. Let's get through it together. To North Mech up by nine. Nifty move by Maxwell. Right at the foul line, popping. Fire misses. Billings the rebound. And the Wildcats try to cut into this deficit here. Here's Zeus Bats. Back to Billings up top. Patient offensive look. Witherspoon gives it now to Bats. Billings spinning away. And the defense holding tough for the Vikings here. Allen being chased all over. Hangs, tough shot, all glass. Tipped, kept alive, and it's right. McGee picking it back up for the Wildcats. Now into the corner. This is Allen. Yes. What a big recovery by New Hanover in that possession after the defense for North Beck was so rock solid. And they stayed patient, took their time. And two freshmen out on the floor for the Wildcats right now. Here's Evans, fade away, no on the baseline. Offensive rebound, now Trailer has it. Into the lane, challenge shot, he got fouled. Foul on the arm, couple of free throws on the way for North Mech. 341 remain, third quarter, North Mecklenburg maintaining six-point spread, 37-31 Vikings. 
it's the number that can make a difference. It's a number to use when you need help. Call, text, or chat 988 day or night. The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Because you never know when you or someone you know may need it. Call, text, or chat 988-247. Don't miss our anniversary sale going on now at Mac Brown Home Furnishings. Come visit our 15,000 square foot store and outlet to find the best prices on name brand furniture. Everything is on sale. We have a great selection of furniture, rugs, lamps, and art. Whether you're looking for a $5.99 sofa or a custom ordered luxury sectional, we have you covered. At Meg Brown Home Furnishings, our team of experienced designers is ready to assist you. Hurry in for our anniversary sale. Meg Brown Home Furnishings, just off I-40 and Bermuda Run. Hey, Joe. You come here often? Yeah, just waiting for my pills. Uh, high blood pressure and cholesterol. Oh, that'll cost you. I can afford it. I have NC Medicaid. You can earn more and still get NC Medicaid. Just go to the website. See if you qualify at medicaid.nc.gov. And a reminder, toward the end of the fourth quarter, Jay and I will be selecting the West Shore Home Player of the Game. West Shore Home, bath remodeling made easy. Thirty-seven, thirty-one. North McLean, New Hanover for the 4A state championship. Free throws here for Trailer for the Vikings. With the Riddle and Bradley free throw line. One more coming for Trailer. Injured in an accident call, Riddle and Brantley. Looks as this counts. Haven't yet seen the big run from the unbeaten Wildcats of New Hanover quite yet. And you're right, it does feel like Isaiah Evans feels like it is his time to put this game away if he can. Through traffic, that one's thrown too hard off the glass, and there is Evans for the rebound. Yeah, the defense for the Vikings has been outstanding. You have to credit them. There hasn't been multiple possessions back-to-back -back where there's been buckets for New Hanover. Pierce. Delivers over to Evans out of the corner. He'll drive in, and there is Carson Evans with his first points. And the lead is double digits for the second time in the half. North back by 10. Evans recognized the crease, just a lapse in the defense for him to take it all the way. Inside three minutes. Zeus bats, gives it up into the corner. Crittenden. A weak side rebound grabbed by Young. Here come the Vikings looking to stretch out further. In this game for North Mac. And Dwayne Lewis has gone exactly according to plan. Here's Evans in the high post. Big mismatch here. Fade away. Front rim no. And the rebound taken out by Witherspoon. That's right in the face of Evans being physical. Billings kills it. Now Bats will recycle. Two minutes left in the third. Allen rejects the screen, had to adjust his shots. And Evans was going up for the rebound, and he got hit. There'll be a foul on New Hanover. And a charge against Billings. Defense throwing multiple bodies at Allen as he drives through. It's making it so difficult to get clean looks. Played through the high post again. A little toss to Evans. Head down and he's going to get whistled for an offensive foul. Maybe leaning with that inside shoulder. That's number two on Evans. The bats. Look at a wide base and wanted that call. He got it. Playing with great effort tonight on the All American. Yeah, maybe the shoulder might have been a little bit of a hook as well. Number two on Evans. And the Wildcats, they need to convert now. A dump down to the inside. Chop Harley block recovered though, and in and out off of Witherspoon's hands. And now Evans fires it ahead to Maxwell. Looks for the trailer. Evans the reload, and he'll head to the foul line.
Evans knows when to pick his spots. Beautiful look from Maxwell. As Evans is going into the paint. So it's Isaiah Evans at the free throw line. North Mech by 10. One more coming. Missed a pair. Billing sails across for the board. One minute left in the third. Rod McAllen. Throws back behind him to Crittenden, and now back in the hands of Allen. Wildcats need to start swinging some hoops around, and oh, that was almost interference by Nolan Billings in there. I'm not so sure close. if he touched it. If he didn't, he was a millimeter away. The bucket counts. A cr crafty drive from Allen to finish there. That's as close as it gets. And there's a near takeaway saved, though, nicely by the Vikings and Ashton Pierce. Evans slithering in, no. And it's out of bounds. That's, I think, off of the fingertips of Witherspoon, and it will stay with the Vikings. I would love to see the replay on that near tip in a moment ago. That was awfully close. 25 seconds left. Look at Bats. Yeah, nose to nose. <laughs> out front it comes Trey Maxwell. Vikings by eight, looking to hold for the final shots of quarter number three. Isaiah Evans on the other side of the floor. Mismatch with Zeus Bats. And they get it to him now with six seconds. Evans backing in, quick spin across the lane with the left. It is shorts. And that's the end of three. So a six-point North Beck lead at the end of the first half is grown to eight. So they are eight minutes away with an eight-point lead for a 4 a state title. North Mecklenburg leading New Hanover 41-33. When it comes to delivering high quality, affordable health care, relationships matter. And after 90 years, Blue Cross North Carolina is proud of the relationships we've built with you. We're 5,000 neighbors, friends, and family committed to improving the health and well being of everyone across this state. We're here for you, all of you. Imagine an injury law firm that is committed to preventing accidents. A firm that teaches bike safety, gives away helmets, and provides car seat safety checks. That firm is CR Legal Team. And as aggressive as we are about preventing accidents, we're that passionate about protecting our clients who've been victimized by one. Much as we try, accidents happen. When they do, trust CR Legal Team to stand up for you. CR Legal Team. Commitment. Results. Call 888-THE-TEAM. Stats through three quarters of this 4A title game presented by the law offices of Roderick Todd McIver, CYA. Call your attorney. A three point percentage for North Beck, right under 50%. Isaiah Evans, his teammates, very efficient from the outside, have gotten to the free throw line as well. The lead is eight as the fourth quarter gets underway. North Mecklenburg in the white looking to. Knock off the unbeaten New Hanover Wildcats and claim the title. 
And they fumble away the first possession, though. Jump ball, held ball, possession arrow the other way to New Hanover. And the points to paint through three quarters right there. North Mecklenburg with a 16-12 advantage. Sponsored by Piedmont Federal Bank. We invite you to bank better. That side of the court has gotten the oh. cleanliness workout tonight. There will not be many towels left. But that didn't smell. <laughs> Here we go. New Hanover basketball down by eight. They need to start carving into this deficit fairly quickly. Zeus bats, takes the screen from Billings. And here's Allen. Stopped. Crittenden in on the baseline. Got in the hole, lays it in. They needed that. Seven off the bench for Crittenden. And Allen felt the double team Crittenden on the baseline. He took it for the open look. 41 35, North back. 17 points for Isaiah Evans. He comes to the pass here. Into the corner, Maxwell. Out of the double team. Fed it away and a clean stuff. That is all ball. Xavier Rung got stuffed by Crittenden. Arrow belongs to North Mech. Past two possessions on offense for Crittenden, and then here going straight up to get the jump ball. It's a great recovery. On a curl, hard floater. That's an offensive foul on North Mech. Well, They're giving the Wildcats a little bit of life here. And this is the start. They needed here to begin the fourth quarter. Excellent work on the defensive end. Unselfish play from Allen giving up his body. And the defense is getting these looks for the Wildcats. The block, another tie up. The offensive foul drawn. Bats hustles to the left. Will take the screen and now set things up again. Rodrick Allen looking to penetrate if he can. It's just not there. Billings against Evans. Spins him back. Will he give it up? No. Tough shot. No good. And a whistle. And then there's going to be a foul going on to Hanover. Defense again. Solid for the Vikings. And Isaiah Evans has been great tonight shooting the basketball. I'm impressed with how hard he works on the defensive end, bodying up there, making it tough to shoot over the top. North Mecklenburg leads by six. Two minutes have gone by in the final quarter. Contact on the perimeter. This time it will be Crittenden committed the foul. Second on Parker. The defense for the Vikings has been outstanding. The defense for the Wildcats will need to keep holding up over this final quarter to give their offense an opportunity to come all the way back. And there's another block on the inside. This one by Billings. It will stay with North Mecklenburg. A difficult driving in to the paint area then going up and down and they've created 10 turnovers they've only had six themselves so they're plus four tonight but you're right they've got to try to create more havoc well, they just can't get the ball up to Evans on a baseline out of bounds in that spot plus the defender was guarding the inside not the baseline easy send in by Evans he has 19 points Billings the extra pass to bats and the Vikings claim the rebound. 43-35, North Mecklenburg. Trying to climb back to a double-digit lead. Good spin move. And this is Trailer. Yeah! What a move by Trailer. Lead back to 10. It's huge. 15 points. It's been excellent. Guarding Allen tonight. Oh. And Billings is now out there with one shoe. He just tossed his left shoe to midcourt. So number 34 in Grays with one shoe. There's a pass out front. Maxwell dribbles past the shoe and scores. And it's now a 12-point lead, biggest of the game for North Mech. 
Anticipation from Maxwell, that right hand, getting in the passing lane, turning it into offense. And now the lead is up to 12. That's the CR legal team, fast break, commitment, results, CR legal team. So the timeout with the Vikings now leading by 12. Billings did go grab his shoe and kind of half-heartedly put it on as he went to the Wildcat sideline. I don't know if he blew the shoe out or if something else was going on, but if he does need an extra pair, I'm not sure where they come from right now. <laughs> this, this isn't D1 basketball yet. And you could sense the point in the ball game where New Hanover poised to go on a run, and it was the defense for Dwayne Lewis, his team creating a couple turnovers, executing, and now it's a 12-point lead. I would expect them to slow this ball game down, start to use some clock. And then the Vikings poised to celebrate. Still 4.52 to play. North Mech by 12. And again, the schools won two state titles. The last one, as we take a look at Nolan Billings' shoe. So they didn't blow the shoe out, but the last state title they won was four years ago, but they didn't play in the state title game. They were co-champions with Lumberton. The only other time they actually played a state championship game and won was 2005. So it's been a long time. They got beat in the 06 finals to J School, to Wakefield. Catch and release. Crittenden, yes. And he's trying to keep New Hanover afloat. Uh, he stepped up here in the fourth quarter. Three-pointer presented by Mega Brown Home Furnishings. Check out their anniversary sale happening right now. Back to a single-digit game. North Mech by nine. Trailer. Shaking. Hits Maxwell. And back in the hands of Trailer. Evans. The diagonal kick out. Maxwell. Shorts. Rebound Billings. He'll keep both shoes on and run the floor. Wildcats down by nine. Zeus Bats. Runs into trouble in the corner. And he gets a pass away. Witherspoon to the hole. Attacks. Missed it. They needed that one. Vikings cleared away up nine. I like the take by the freshman being aggressive. Trailer plays it to the post. This is Evans. Harassed by a double. That doesn't really matter. And he'll head to the free throw line. And the Vikings can smell the bar. Three and a half minutes to play in the 4A state title game. Dwayne Lewis has been waiting a long time for this. Can his team close out unbeaten New Hanover? North Beck by nine. Man, I got a good lawyer. A son of Roger MacGyver. If you got a court date coming up, then it ain't no problem. If you need criminal no defense, then he the one for you. If you need an attorney, CYA, call your attorney, attorney Roderick Todd McIver. A 988 is the number that can make a difference. It's a number to use when you need help. And don't know where to turn. Call, text, or chat 988 day or night. The number where someone will always be there to talk. The National Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Learn it, know it, share it. Because you never know when you or someone you know may need it. Talk with someone who cares and get to a better place. Call, text, or chat 988-247. 988. Let's get through it together. All right, the last meeting, timeout of regulation. North Mecklenburg up by nine on New Hanover. And this has kind of been their game most of the night. They've rarely trailed. And Isaiah Evans, the senior, who is heading off to Cameron Indoor next year to play for the Duke Blue Devils. And he's been a key reason why. But I think more broadly, it's been the defense for the yeah. Vikings that's been, to me, the most important facet of this contest so far. And this is a talented offensive group for New Hanover. 66 points per game, only 38 to this point. Yeah. So it is Evans at the line. He scored 19 points and now has 20. I mean, this is a North Mech team. You go across their entire regular season and the playoffs, 
They've been over 90 points 12 times, and they've scored 100 plus six times. They've scored 49 in the game's closing, you know, its last couple of minutes, but they're in the lead by 11. It's the defense that's led the way tonight for the Vikings. It really has been the catalyst. Dump to the inside, bats. Short jumper on the baseline, miss. And the rebound cleared away by Maxwell. And the Vikings up by 11. And they can begin to work a little more clock. And they will take it down close to three minutes. Trailers had a solid game. This is Ashton Pierce, and we get a timeout taken by North Mac and Dwayne Lewis, who was hired in 1999. He was the head coach for that 2005 title, head coach for the 2020 title. Over 530 career wins for Dwayne Lewis. But they had the hard row with through the postseason. They were the five C, which means you're on the road against the top seeds if you last. And they did beat Mount Tabor in the third round. Beat Myers Park on the road by 16. And that game really wasn't even that close. And then the overtime win in the neutral court here a couple of nights ago over Lake Norman. A game in which Isaiah Evans poured in 30, including the game time bucket with about 17 seconds left before it's overtime. Uh, they've controlled the pace tonight, limited their mistakes. I think here, New Hanover, you've got to sell out, and trap, do whatever you can to try to create turnovers. But they wanted to trap on that sideline, just didn't really close it out. Trailer gets it to Evans. Nifty pass on the inside of that shot at Tim No, who tipped that in? Was that Xavier Young? That's his best moment on that side of the floor all night. The sophomore coming through. <laughs> Deep three, and that's missed. Allen can't connect, but a second crack. Stepping in, Crittenden. That's a two. And Crittenden, 12 points off the bench. Brilliant. Really well. And now some full court pressure applied by the Wildcats, but time is not their ally. 2-10, there's a foul taken by Billings out front. That's his third. Fifty-one forty North Mech. We'll see how long the Wildcat defense allows the Vikings to simply moth mothball the basketball here. I mean, if you're willing to let them take some clock off, you at least have to be attacking the basketball and try to force the turnover, not be stationary. And another hanging bank shot, this one by Xavier Young. A much more memorable half for him in the state title game. Yeah, he's looked really good here in the second. Bats, all the way three. Ten-point game, 135 to play. Well, it's going to be full out, selling out for turnover here. Which should mean some open territory for Evans to charge through, and there he does. Isaiah Evans, that might start signaling the death bell. Billings the reverse, and a timeout quickly taken by Kirk Angel. 120 to play, North Mech by 10. Fifty-five, forty-five, North Mech. Time now for J9 to announce our what's your home player of the game? What's your home? Bathroom Island made easy. Oh. To no one's a surprise, Isaiah Evans for North Mech. Yeah, he showed up tonight in a big way from the first possession, knocked down a three. And we've seen his offensive game, the ability to score at the rim from beyond the three-point line and everywhere in between. He's wanted the ball. He's been excellent, Patrick, on the defensive side as well. Complete player, and he's got a bright future next year at Duke and, and beyond. 23 points in 31 minutes, four of five from three-point land, seven rebounds. And what's been interesting to watch him play, he has not been a guy who's been fighting to get open shots. He has wanted contested shots, and he's made most of them. It doesn't matter if a defender's in his face. He looks calm, smooth motion, and with his height and his length, he can create over the top or with his jabs 
step to create a little bit of room. But he's as town as a high school player as you'll find. And he will run baseline and trigger it into trailer. And Evans gets it back. Three defenders to backcourt for the Wildcats. There's a near steal in midcourt, but a great set of hands by Trailer to catch it. And now he'll leave it down low, and no need to make a shot attempt. And there's the turnover finally forced by New Hanover. Bats harassed a bit, almost lost the dribble, and a foul call on North Met. 59 seconds to play. The foul on Xavier Young. He will depart. A couple of big fourth quarter buckets. For Xavier. Not shooting foul. Wildcats will throw in down by 10. And they almost turn it over. Bats dive bombs onto the basketball to maintain possession. A new handover is called a timeout. Okay, let's get ready now for our 988 suicide crisis prevention hotline play of the game. And it also includes and involves Isaiah Evans. I think everybody was in awe of this move. Just floating through the air. Three defenders coming at Evans. It didn't matter. Call Texas Chat 988. You can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Let's get through it together. Fifty-five forty-five North Mech. Do a handover basketball inside a minute. Crittenden, baseline drive, drops it in. It's an eight point game, and now New Hanover scrambling. They commit everybody to the backcourt, which leads to this, but a little slip by Trey Maxwell. And he's called for the walk. Seen a lot of, a lot of sweat, perspiration down there. Let's. Hopefully, Hopefully he's away. Yeah, hope yeah. Maxwell didn't um, hyperextend anything right there. Dangerous. And he's subbed out and feeling around that left knee. And you can see there's a brace on that left leg already. 40 seconds to play. Wildcats down by eight. Brittenden has to force. Off glass, no. And the rebound to Xavier Young. The lead is eight for the Vikings. They have possession. And now it's just a simple game of keep away. And the Wildcats will take the foul with 22 seconds left. And the fans over from Huntersville for North Mecklenburg feel it. Up eight, 22 seconds. What a year for the Vikings to get to this point. And then now to close out the ball game. Oh, the fans are so proud of this year's team. First free throw made by Carson Evans. The Viking state of mind for North Mac. As he reads on that gentleman's t-shirt. 57-47 North Mac. Layup. Falls off the rim and the rebound appropriately into the hands of their star, Isaiah Evans. He will start to scream. He'll high step into the front court, heave the ball to the scoreboard, and North Mecklenburg, the 2024 4A men's basketball champions. Four years after their previous title, they actually get to play the game and claim the title outright. Third in school history. And they hand New Hanover its only loss of the year and it comes in the very final game. Fantastic season for New Hanover. And this ball game though, every time they tried to go on a run, it was the defense from North Met. It was the catalyst tonight. Excellent offensive play. The defense, though, was suffocating, and it led to a championship. And indeed, it is their time. 
Isaiah Evans with 23 points to lead North Mech to its third school championship. And he was brilliant. Eight rebounds, four of five from three-point range. It started from the opening bell. His first shot, a contested three off the left side on Nets. And it just got better for Isaiah Evans. Remember, he saved this Vikings team in the regional final a couple of days ago, making a jumper to send the regional final into overtime. And then he took over in OT and then delivers 48 hours later. So North Mecklenburg third school title, the 2024 4A champions. And Jay Sonhalter is just about ready with the man hired in 1999 to lead this program. And now champions again with Coach Dwayne Lewis. And coach, as good as your offense was tonight, your defense was outstanding to lead to this championship. Well, we talked at halftime, you know, we'd let them turn the corner on us a few times, and we like, we just got to lock in, keep kids in front. Their two little guards are really good and quick. Uh, we did a great job. Carson, Evans, Chadlin, Trailer, they stepped up big for us. Chadlin was unbelievable all night, but great team. Tough to beat a 32 0 team. But Proud of our guys, big, big time. Your team was ready for this stage. And I know this senior class means so much to you. What do they mean to this program? Well, you know, Isaiah, everybody wants to ask. He's unreal. Every accolade he's got, he's earned. And Trey Maxwell, the Maxwells, they've been with us for eight years. From Tristan to Trey, and he's an all-state player. And our other senior, Ezra Jameson. But, you know, they've added so much to our Isaiah is a great leader and these guys they don't miss anything they're all bought in and uh, I can't say enough about their leadership and our younger guys will have to be ready to step up for next year and all the players came over to you as soon as they celebrated out on the floor to share that moment with your players that's special no it is I mean we're a close-knit group um, you know we all love each other they just don't know I'm tough on them but great guys in a locker room great guys at school and they say I don't ever show enough emotion so they want to see me smile so I'm pumped up for them. How do you celebrate this win? Oh, I got to drive my bus back the little see man I'll be driving it down they'll ride with their family but no um, we'll have a, a party as much as a high school team can have a party on the bus and we'll go home and you know I know they'll all get together but I don't you know what is I'm just pumped, man. My coaching staff has been together with me. They either played for me or with me for a long time, and just excited for all them, and this this for our school. Drive safe tonight, and congratulations. Right. Hey, thank you a lot. Thank you a lot. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Great job, Jay. Thank you, Coach. Driving the bus home after claiming a state title. That's the way to do it. So now, yeah, look at the smile as he high fives all his players. How close are these guys? And they're coming back state champions. 57-47 win for North Mech. We'll come back with a trophy presentation for the North Mecklenburg High School Vikings when we close things down for Winston-Salem. At Riddle and Brantley, our day often starts before much of North Carolina wakes up. The hours preparing a case are long, and the fight for justice is real. Our team is committed to righting wrongs by working to secure money for our clients. If you've been hurt in an accident, call Riddle and Brantley and find out if you have a case. The call is always free and there are no costs unless we win money for you. Riddle and Brantley, when justice counts. Being an athlete means having a healthy desire to do as much
back to Winston-Salem. They find all the stats from North Mecklenburg's third state championship presented by the law offices of Roderick Todd McIver. CYA, call your attorney, Jake. Uh, the death prince tonight was on the boards, and North Met got to the free throw line, converting 11 out of 17, and then excellent shooting from the outside. Points to pay presented by Piedmont Federal Bank. We invite you to bank better, plus eight for the Vikings in that category, 26 to 18. So there is the star, Isaiah Evans, headed on to Durham, North Carolina, to play for the Duke Blue Devils beginning next year. 23.8 rebound performance, played every single second of the state title game. And you can see just how excited he was a moment ago as he was announced to take his medal first as they're introducing the team. I mean, he was like a, a six-year-old just bouncing yeah. down the line with all of his teammates. Huge embrace with those closest to him. Just enjoying the passion that he plays with and sharing this moment with his yeah. teammates. I mean, sometimes you see a guy who is going on to play major Division One basketball where this is almost an afterthought. You're right. waiting to get to the ACC or the Pac-12 or wherever your destination is. Clearly, that is not the case as Isaiah Evans is buying in and enjoying and savoring every single moment. Now he's got a bright future, but there is nothing like high school basketball. The relationships that you have, and he's enjoying this moment as he should. All right, let's join the public nurse announcer here at the Joel Coliseum for the rest of the award ceremony for the 4A champs from North Mecklenburg. Jay, why do I get the feeling that Dwayne Lewis, the head coach for North Mech, said, never touch my head, guys. You only can if we win a state title. <laughs> and he got the trophy, got the game ball, and then they all came circling to him and all patting him on top of his bald head after he wins the state championship. It's great stuff. You can feel the love. Yeah, he just got bald in there, and he was smiling the whole time. What a job he's done this season. He deserves this moment in the championship. All right, well, that's going to wrap up a long day. And for you, my friend, a very long couple of days here in Winston-Salem, delivering all eight broadcasts. Jay Stonehalter, my partner, and the voice sounds great, my man. <laughs> See you next fall. Thank you. All right, let's kind of recap what we saw here today. Roseville with a big fourth quarter, outscoring Charlotte Catholic 28-14, to storming to their first ever state championship of any kind in school history for head coach Nikita Warren, who was playing with a heavy heart for her departed son. Then in the second game, North Pitt, the Panthers took down East Burke, 76 to 66 for their third state title. Then we switched over to men's action. And this is the epic game of the day. Farmville Central, the defending champ, 
Greenville, a team they beat last year in the title game. They battle into overtime after MJ Williams tied things up with eight seconds to go with his left hand at three. But in OT, it would be the Reedsville Rams, Deontay Neal knifing in for the game winner and the size of the rings for the Rams. And the game we just witnessed, the last one of the night, the Duke recruit, Isaiah Evans. That was his first shot of the game, and he never stopped. 23-point contest for Evans as North Becklenburg knocks New, Haven, New Hanover from the ranks of the unbeaten, and the Vikings claim their third state championship. So that's the story from Winston-Salem. We'd like to take a minute and thank all the great sponsors who brought you these games. West Shore Home, Popeyes, the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, Ridland Bramley, Big Brown Home Furnishings, the law offices of Roderick Todd McIver, Piedmont Federal Bank, CR Legal, the Carolina Hurricanes, and our friends at Engels Markets. So that is going to wind things down. The lights will go off inside the Joel Coliseum. We thank all of you for tuning in over the course of this week at Wake Forest. And for Jay Sellenhalter, our fabulous crew, camera operators, everybody in the truck, thank you for watching across the course of this year. Patrick Enos saying good night. We will see you in the fall. North Becklenburg, 4A state champs. So long from Winston-Salem.